All right. What up, guys? It's Mad Viking here. Um, one of these boxes I've actually found when they started hitting my area finally, the AEW Series 2, and then people are saying Series 3 are hitting as well, but I've after I got this initial box, I quit looking because it took me about a week to get them, and I raised some stink at one of the last Walmarts in my area that was claiming they had them, uh, which is a funny story because the first guy was claiming he doesn't know anything about it and doesn't know where they're at. I got another guy who was like, let me go call my superior, the, who is the first guy I talked to who played stupid, and that was a four-hour process. I had to come back to the store a few times to get my fresh case of Jazzwares All Elite Wrestling. So I have this crate here unopened, this box, and I have my other box from Ringside, which is, uh, I believe, my other complete set of Series 2. There might even be, or was it Series 3? Because I ordered Series 2, but it wasn't going to come all complete. I was going to get some in January, some in February. But I ordered Series 3, so now that I think about it, I might have Series 3 sitting here too. So, my whole thing is, do I have any chases? Because uh, if you're following any groups online and stuff like that, uh, some of these a-holes are finding... One guy had like 12 of the MJFs, which I don't really give a crap about that MJF. The only chase I wanted was the uh, Chris Jericho Inner Circle with the championship belt one. That was the only one I've wanted so far. Um, and I'll never own one because they're selling for ridiculous amounts of money. So, so far, everything looks good coming off the truck. So let's see. First one out of the box is John Moxley. Box looks amazing. No chase, but I can't complain. Uh, now I can say I officially own the belt. It's a decent figure. Uh, I don't like the chase at all, which is supposed to be the, from the night that he was supposed to join the inner circle, and there was the champagne and whatever, and he's wearing the inner circle shirt. Uh, next one up is MJF. Not the chase, but that's what he looks like. I'm just happy, like I said, this is Series 2, right? Ser series 2. I'm just happy the search is over, because... When I get stuff drilled in my head and I want it and I don't get it, it drives me insane. Uh, this is Hangman Page. Wasn't too high on this one on the face scan. Uh, if you've seen, they've already released images of Series 4, I believe, and they look amazing. Uh, so that one, that was one I thought was a little lazy. Next up is Pentagon Jr. This is figure of the year for me technically though 2020 is over but he was already being announced in 2020 i still need to make my 2020 <laughs> best of 2020 figures let me see what the date is on here and see if he slips into my best of 2020 so he will i've wanted a pentagon jr figure forever at one point i almost bought a custom pentagon jr figure about a year two years ago maybe but uh, I was not willing to spend $175 on the figure that I could probably never, ever touch <laughs> just to keep the cool paint job on. Next up is uh, Dustin. Is he Rhodes? Yeah, Rhodes. Now, they already have that two-pack where he looks just like this, except he's covered in blood. One is enough for me. I'm not a big fan of that two-pack. Uh, the match was great, and that's what they're supposed to be uh, uh, symbolic for was that Blood Brothers match or whatever the hell it was called. Next up is Ray Phoenix. Uh, least favorite one of this group, but you can't have the collection and not have Ray Phoenix. So that was my Walmart case of figures. No chases. This is from Ringside. And this is obviously more than a case, so I'm hoping, like I said, this is some of my Series 2 that I ordered, and possibly Series 3. And granted, they've been hosing people on the prices for these things. They've been generous enough that they're actually putting some of the chases into people's purchases, uh, like possibly like mine. So that's what I'm hanging my hat on here. 
is that maybe they'll be gracious enough and gift me one of these precious uh, chase figures that maybe I can use later on for trading for like this said Chris Jericho chase figure that I really want. I do have an extra brandy. I was in talks with some guy for that Series 4 Chavo Guerrero. He said he was open for it, and then all communications just kind of stopped. So I'm counting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12. All right. So I am correct. Ugh, damn it. There goes my stack of figures. I really got to do something with these. It's just crazy here at my, my little desk again. So, oh, I don't know if this is the chase or not. This is the one that the people hate her face. And of course I have it. And um, who, what is her gun? Riho. So this is the first one up. We have Riho. Look at that face. I hate it. I hate it. And out of all the women, yeah, granted, she was the first women's champion, blah, 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 blah. She hasn't been on your TV in like a year. She's not your priority, but I can understand because she comes with the belt. So we get Riho. All right, let's grab this one. Oops, I don't want to knock more stuff. Up. Okay, did I buy? Okay, I did. I forgot. <laughs> Uh, there's, there will be no Series 2 in here. I bought two sets of Series 3 because I was going to open one. So that's what it is. And of course, I get two of Crap Face Riho. I didn't get the Chase. I believe she was a Chase. I'm not delusional on this. So I got two Rihos. We got Pac, and he feels kind of heavy. And I'm glad he comes with that extra head because I really hate that one. I hate it. Um, so we got Pac. I'll move that up forward. Ah, his face scan too. I don't know, but he does have a weird kind of face. Does it? Does it, I mean, you can say in the comments. I mean, I don't really feel that looks like him, but it's close enough, right? Uh, he and he only has one other elite, and it's WWE. And even I don't think that one was very good. So again, we have his double. All right, next up, we have Matt, I mean, Nick Jackson. Uh, not a big fan of this face one either. His first one was a lot better. I'm trying to get rid of that glare. But I love, this This is what we should have gotten the first time out instead of the Elvis jumpsuit from All Out or All In. But I get it. They want, that was their big first pay-per-view, and that's what they were celebrating. But this is more of what the Young Bucks look like. Uh, they got the tassels, which look amazing. They got cloth jackets, I believe. I think. We'll figure that out when I open it up. No, it's rubber. But it's still eons beyond uh, their first one. So we can't complain too much there. All right. And that's his double. Double, double. We'll put him over here. Next up, we got Matt. Oh, God. <laughs> this is horrible. Neither one of his face scans look good. Actually, now that I'm looking at his first one, because that's right there, is way better than this one. This one looks like he's got black eyes or mascara. Uh, I do not like the facial expression. I don't, I don't know what it is with him. They can't get it right. But we almost need another set of young bucks for them to get right. Uh, Nick's first one head scan is way better than this one, too. But he looks like he's got raccoon eyes here. It's not, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if the next one is any better. Uh, not so much on the raccoon eyes, but they still, I don't know. Still, uh, I'm trying, I'm running out of space here. I don't know. <laughs> but that will, can be my next video is when I do the unboxing of the entire set. So next up is, I'm very impressed with this one. He has a cloth jacket and it looks like it fits. It's not rubber. And it's not what happens with WWE figures, overly excessive on its size, so it doesn't even fit the figure. Um, uh, I'm looking here. How can they have these extra hands, but they don't have him doing the thumbs up in at least one? Now, I can't tell because maybe that's the, his pocket hand, 
And this hand right here is just doing the G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. So they go through this much work, but they don't have the A. Eh. Now, why, why is that? Probably because it's the same thing that goes through with Mattel is they have just certain molds of hands and they don't want to create more hands. Because like I said forever, how do they not have the too sweet hand signal or something like that by now? Oh yeah, and as I'm noticing, no chases so far. And some, yeah, well, and this is the other one. See, now this one's got the closed fist. Does this one even have a closed fist option? No. But he's holding up a, like a power fist here in this one, so that's different. I got a different set of hands, I guess. Next up, which I'm pretty stoked for, is the Darby Allen figure. Now, I know this was a chase, but if this is the chase, I couldn't tell you. I don't know what the difference is, but I, it would say something on here. But some people are finding them with no sticker or a thing that says, you know, one of whatever that they put on chases. But it probably isn't the chase because I have the same exact one sitting right here. There's no way in hell I ordered uh, <laughs> uh, the whole set and got two chases. So no chases, but this is the Darby Allen figure. It looks, looks pretty dope. Hopefully that skateboard actually slides and works. I can't wait to open him up and check him out. And like I said, we got the double here. Should have been showing you guys the front and back the whole time. So this is Series 3, Series 4. <sighs> it will probably be up for grabs pretty soon on uh, the Evil Empire, a.k.a. Ringside. So that is it for now. This will save me a lot of chasing and whatever, because just to find Series 2 took me forever. I would go to stores. I was using BrickSeek. It was working. You'd go there, and they tell you they don't have it, or they just sold it. Then I would go home and check it like 30 minutes after I got home for that same store, and then it would say, oh, there's two or three limited stock, and I'm like, you SOB. That really made me mad. Then I'd go to another one farther up the road, and they'd say they don't have it, and it would sit there on the thing for another day or two, and then, of course, it would show no stock. So it was there. It's just our lovely Walmart staff didn't want to go and find it for me. So uh, just this gets this out of the way, which is not horrible. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see what series, who's in series four and what they look like. I just posted that. I think that was today or yesterday. Um, very thoroughly happy with that set. Uh, I love the Matt Hardy. We're going to get finally a broken Matt Hardy. Uh, what he's supposed to look like. I've wanted one forever. I, I, I would, uh, beg ringside to make a defining moments broken Matt Hardy, but of course he was never really highlighted in WWE. So why would they make him one? Uh, but we did get the elite of the Woken Matt Hardy, which was me. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm not going to give away the rest of the set. Go to my Instagram page, Mad Viking, and go check it out. Um, trying to think here. I think that's it for now. Hit like, leave a comment, subscribe. Should say all this stuff in the beginning of the video. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Um, I don't know that I have any shows lined up this week, so maybe I'll get a little. Maybe I'll do a, an unboxing of the figures, and we'll check them out together. Um, that'll be it, because now I got to move some of this stock or do something with it at least, because I'm running out of space. Literally, you see me sitting here, so <laughs> I got to do something. So, anyways, guys, Mad Viking out. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.